In the remote bush of northeastern Australia, these children are learning to light fires. It's an Aboriginal tradition that goes back thousands of years, using fire to stop fire. And many Indigenous people see it as part of a solution for devastating blazes like the ones that have ravaged the country. Western knowledge of fire is that they're afraid of it, whereas traditional burning and Aboriginal knowledge is that we work with it. In Queensland, the Indigenous organisation Fire Sticks is hosting workshops for people from across the country to spread that knowledge. We travelled there during the Southern Hemisphere winter in July of 2019 to witness the traditional burning many believe could help save Australia from itself. We're always hearing about those big fires down south, people losing their family, and when you hear how they're burning down there, and it's all wrong. They're doing it all wrong. Nobody seemed to try to figure out or try to learn a different way how to stop it. We got tired of seeing people getting hurt down there. Burn it against the wind. If we were to burn it the wrong way, it would have took everything out. But because the fire is trickling, we're leaving behind grasses that are there for certain birds that need the, that grass, or it won't burn everything, you know. So it just trickles through all day like this, like that. Lovely, eh? the fire would actually just crawl along the ground and not leap up into the trees and up into the canopies. And I guess that's traditional burning. This is a healthy burn. The trees are in touch. The white smoke from the grasses and feeding the trees to germinate. And the shade all through the country after the fire. It's nice and cool in here, even after the fire, because we haven't harmed any of the trees and the canopies, but yet we've completely cleaned the floor. So where we are now, this is what we call Kuromp, which is a um, boxwood community. So this has been done by an central burn and dropping the bombs on the country. What happened, they came in on the wind side with the wind and they dropped multiple fires in here and she came through and roared through and now this whole place is sad now. No flowers, no shade, no food. And all of this comes from the wrong ignition and the wrong way of looking at country. It just tears your heart out, eh? It just, you can't, it just makes you want to sit down and cry, eh? And, you know, you, after seeing, seeing all that country we did and feeling proud of it, and, but then to get out there and see something what the past just did, yeah, it shatters you, eh? Make, makes you, make you really, makes you really sad inside to see something like that. When you do a lot of the air dropping, you can't tell what's on there and what kind of trees and what animals are there and it doesn't give enough time for the animals as well to get away. Mary Gully side, and he's also on, on the renewable side as well. So he's, he's actually director. Um, for the sort of but honestly, do you think this is a healthy burn? No, I don't. Yeah. But it's just the resources, resources. to look after yeah. such a big national park. Yep. That's where we, the limitations come on board. And I think <clears throat> You know, obviously, we look after the environment the way you do, you guys do yeah. culturally, and there's also environment as well. So we need to make sure those two interact together. Yeah. There's been massive damage to this area, and it, like I said, it affects the people spiritually, physically, yeah, mentally, well, emotionally. Like there's a lot of emotions going on here because a lot of hard work yep. been put into this country. On the reality, if we get wildfires and, and like wildfires coming through later in the year, it's going to look ten times worse than this. We've got, like Rod's saying, we've got people ready to go. Like, we've been doing this with no money. 
That's right. For all those years, we never had no money. So if you guys you? want to come along and voice your opinions, love you to come along. There's no excuses. There's no excuses. No matter what anyone says, we don't do that. We're not here to hang anyone or get wild at parks. We're here to work with parks and for them to chest up and to say, well, come on, let's make this better. We've got an opportunity here. Consultation when it comes to burning country is the key um, and good communication, building that rapport with Aboriginal communities. I'd like to welcome this whole to our country, Taipan country. Oh, they just pull a pedestal. We're trying to introduce traditional burning back onto country where Aboriginal people can burn their own country. A lot of ecosystems in Australia are dependent on fire and we need to look after them. Our knowledge of reading landscapes and understanding how fire fits on there comes from thousands of years. And when we look at the bush now, it's unhealthy. It's you know, there's weeds and there's, um, you know, invasive natives, it's unbalanced. And so we need to make the country healthy again. And fire is a big part of that. Ooh, we can smell it, eh? The right fire does everything. Firstly, it's burning spiritually, and it's a spiritual connection to the country. The second component of it is looking after all the trees and the and animals in here and making sure they're not getting all burnt. So we're looking after our biodiversity. And finally, what our burns are is, is to protect our country from wildfires. No wildfire will get through here after this, for this year. When the land is healthy, the people are healthy. And mentally, we feel a lot better because our country is looking strong. And that also affects our children and our women and our men. And we feel stronger inside because we know that we're doing the right thing by caring for our country. It's all about sharing knowledge and sharing with each other because we've got to share this country. <laughs> an amazing amount of knowledge that could really show them the, the right way forward. People can burn the incorrect way and that's simply because they don't know the land. As we're all getting older, the next generation has to take on these roles, um, caring for our country and making sure it's maintained and healthy. Now everybody got to watch the fire, stop it from going into camp here now. So you be burn him off, look, burn him off, now it's gonna die down, now slowly look, it's gonna go up that way down. Up there, look, gonna stop burning. Right there. Now you have to watch down here, look, see it's gonna come back down this way. It's gonna go right through now, go all the way down the airstrip. You can't keep going that way. It's very important that a younger one get out on country with us, light that first mate, smell that first burn. And See their country back the way it is. <laughs>